Oscillation is the to and fro motion of the pendulum about a fixed point. The bob completes one oscillation when it swings from O to B, then to A, and returns to O. It can also be considered when the bob swings from A to B and back to A, or vice versa. The length of a simple pendulum is the distance from the point of suspension to the center of gravity of the bob. The resting position of the pendulum is known as the equilibrium position, as seen in the diagram. The maximum displacement of the pendulum from its equilibrium position is called amplitude, in other words, how far out the bob goes. The time taken for one complete oscillation is called the period. As we can see here, it is the time it takes to go from the left side to the right side and again back to the left side. It could also be, as stated before, the time taken to go from the middle to the right, all the way to the left and back again to the middle. What factors affect the period of a simple pendulum? Let's investigate them. Is it the length of the pendulum? Is it the mass of the bob? Is it the angle of the displacement? When we look at the length of the pendulum, we can see here a sort of direct relationship, meaning the shorter the pendulum, the shorter the period. The blue pendulum takes much shorter time than the black pendulum. The mass of the pendulum does not affect the period. And as we can see here, the angle of displacement, when it is small, makes no difference either. Now let's look at some precautions. In summary, the only factor that affects the period of a pendulum is the length of the pendulum. The mass and the angle, if small, do not affect the period. 